I didn't think it would that doing hair would have taken me this far, honestly. My family's from Jamaica. Um, we moved here when I was young. So I pretty much grew up in the Bronx, you know, in Jamaican community. My dad has his own business and my mom owned a restaurant. Jamaican immigrants, they come here, they work hard. They want to see their kids go to college, you know, become a lawyer, doctor. My mother was like, what kind of life are you going to have as a hairdresser? My friend introduced me to this amazing lady. Her name is Adele Gilbert, by the way. She's a French white hairstylist. So that alone speaks volume that she wanted me to assist her. Um, after that job, she was like, you know, I really like the way you work. Um, I want you to come to Paris next season to help with the couture shows. It was in 1997. It was a Christian Dior couture show. Inspiration was just the 20s, Salvador Dali. So it was like finger waves, you know, like kind of like that pinup kind of hair. So me coming from the Bronx in that era, you know, the girls, the dance hall queens, that's all they wore were finger waves. So I was like, oh my God, this is so easy. So Odile was like, you did a really good job. I was like, thanks. So she was like, well, could you go and do the designer's hair? Which, was, by the way, at the time was John Galliano. And he kind of fell in love with me and started using me as his personal hairstylist as well. So. I had this really strong Italian accent on my phone. This person was like, this is Donna Sala Versace. I need you to come to London tonight. I packed my bags. Here I am flying on the Concorde. <music> of course, in the 90s were the era of the supermodels, the Kate Moss, the Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, the Odile. She puts Naomi Campbell in my chair. I gained you know, her as a client as well. And that's when everything really started to roll. OK, I'm growing with the celebrities, but also with the regular women, like the executives, the lawyers, the doctors. They would come and see me at the studio as well. You know, you have to think of other products to keep selling so you're making money while you're sleeping. Cut the middleman. I'm creating a Moy Couture hairline. The shampoo, the conditioner, I created a quaff comb, the no AKA weave scratcher. You know, I don't want to see my girls patting their weaves and I just want to do good hair, right? And have good products. It's not that complicated. I have some clients that have been coming to me for like 29 years since I've started, you know, out. They're still here. Like, I feel like the owner set the tone. I love all my clients. I feel like they're all glamorous. It's not just getting your hair done. It's the overall experience.